Okay, guys, Red Pill, this is like my third try. I don't know what's going on with my microphone. I'm going to get this out here. Now, look, I came across a post on Facebook from geopolitics.co, and it says that, well, the title is Jeffrey Epstein is dead, but, okay, and then there's a but inside the article, all right? So I went ahead and took a look at the article because I wanted to see what they had to say. So, here is the article. Take note of this picture and this picture. They're both going to be used uh, as reference points. Here we go. Jeffrey Epstein is dead, but paramedics tried and failed to revive the convicted pedophile after he was said to have hanged himself in a closely watched prison cell in the Manhattan Correctional Center. Fire Department in New York and multiple sources said. Okay. Right, he hanged himself in a closely guarded Manhattan or detention center cell with one. I, okay, I don't buy that for a minute. All right, that's not what I'm. But I'm not getting at that right now with the story. I do agree that I don't think that Epstein is dead. I think he's been spirited away, probably on a plane right now to Tel Aviv, and being kept in some sort of where safe house. You know, Ghislaine Maxwell has disappeared too. He's probably hanging out, going to hang out with her. I don't know. But getting back to this article, okay, they go on and on about how Epstein was under suicide watch and blah, blah, blah. But then there's an interesting note down here from Neo Taster, Neon Taster on Twitter had made this post. And his, his quote is, so if Epstein's stuff implicates anyone else, they are well and truly effed, okay? And the reason why he's saying that is because Adam Klasfeld posted this. Uh, let me see if I can bring this into... Focus for you. Adam Klasfeld's post says, Second reaction. A former federal prosecutor informs me about this second order effect in terms of legal procedure. And it says, goes here, he goes on to say here, Background. An important note after Epstein's death, no one else will have standing to challenge the search warrant on his house. Everything will be admissible against any other defendant without the possibility of a motion to suppress. Okay, so that's important, right? Now, what's where, where we get into the interesting part on this article is they come down here and they say, after all that, that means it's an all-go for massive unsealing of indictments if the U.S. authorities are indeed hell-bent on cracking down on pedophilia at all costs. But wait, somebody just gave us this, okay? And the item, what it starts talking about is something that comes from a website that I, I know well. I know this guy has done good work in the past um sometimes he makes mistakes sometimes we all make mistakes i think this time he made a mistake in fact i'm i know he made a mistake and i'm going to show you his post says boom epstein is not dead the gurney pictures are fake and i can prove it okay uh i don't have them on the front page right now because i'm under relentless attack and i can't get them posted but here's what's up okay and then we can just go right over to the post because the pictures are up now okay so this is the post here let me zoom this in. And he says, uh, boom, Epstein, you already read that. They used random training photos for the Epstein death hoax, and one of them is a photo of EMTs training in a New York Fire Department garage. Okay? Note that he's saying it's in a New York Fire Department garage where they park the fire trucks. He, uh, he gives reasons for this below. They spliced Epstein onto the gurney in place of what was probably a rescue Annie doll. That would be used for training. The photo has been positively positively identified as having originated in a New York fire department garage. He says it again, and not the hospital where the New York Post claimed he was taken. Okay, and this is one of the the pictures in question. He's got two of them that he goes over. In. This is the one that's in the article, and the first one, and the second one in the article. So you got the first one uh, under the header, and down below. Where the heck did it go? I just had the other photo. That's weird. Oh, the other photo's here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this is the second photo. This is the first photo. So these are the ones that he's comparing. So over here, he takes this one here with the gurneys. All right. Epstein gurney photos faked. The New York Post used random New York Fire Department EMT training photos and screwed up. This one was taken in the New York 
in the fire department in New York garage where it was supposed to be at the hospital. And now remember, this is his analysis, whoever made this picture. Please note, one, a whole bunch of FDNY gurneys on a peg, two, a compressed air hose for the trucks, three, a filthy wall a hospital would never have, four, Epstein's head is too big, five, the sign says please turn off engines, that sign would never be at a hospital because ambulances are required by law to have their engines running at all times. I don't know where he gets that. I've never heard that. Okay, I don't, I don't even believe that. All right, so here he points out in the picture. He got the gurneys on the on wall, a bunch on a hook. Sign says, please turn off engines. Okay, here again he reiterates that ambulances are supposedly supposed to keep their engines on at all times. I know EMTs. I've never heard that. I'm not saying it's not true. I'm just saying I don't believe it, and I don't think it's true because I've never heard it, and I think I would have heard it from the people I know. Uh, here, Epstein's head is way too big, and the body does not match the head. Obvious Photoshop. Right, okay. Probably not. We don't know if Epstein's dead. He looks pretty blue. He could be dead. I don't know. Or he could be faking it. I don't know. I really... Maybe I just don't want him to be dead because I want him to be prosecuted, but it could go either way now. This could be real. He could really be dead, or he could just be faking it here. I don't know. I don't think these guys would really be in on it. <coughs> if he was... Because I don't think they're big enough fish, unless these are Mossad actors. So I don't know. So, anyway, back to the issue of the photos being fake. He Go down here, he says, here are the photos as the New York Post originally published them. This one was actually taken at a hospital, and it's probably still a training pick. Okay, you see Epstein's head here. Look at the relational size of the heads. And Epstein kind of has a big head. So, that could be him. That could be him. We don't know. He may actually be dead. He Unfortunately, I mean, I'd rather see him get justice too, just like you, but we have to accept the possibility that this may indicate he really is dead. Or, like I said, could be faking. This could also be a staged photo. The CIA is known for doing that. All right, and they're in bed with Mossad, so who knows? I'm sure both of them are, are guilty of it. And over here, we show this one where they say his head is too big. Okay, and then this is the gurneys. Now, what I did is I looked in the article... And I went down to look for the name of the hospital because I wanted to find out where he was being, where he was taken, where these pictures were taken. So I got the name, and it's called the New York Presbyterian Lower Manhattan Hospital. <coughs> I took that, I did a Google search, I got the address, and lo and behold, the address is 170 William Street, New York, New York. Okay, so we go there. There we are. It takes us to 170 William Street. Let's go into Street View and take a look. At first, I wasn't sure, so I said, I got to look around. What's going on? What does that sign say? Not much. This sign probably identifies the building, so I went ahead and got here and take a peek up. And sure enough, it says New York Presbyterian Lower Manhattan Hospital. So I know I've got the right building, okay? Now I want to find out where the ambulances go. This doesn't look like a viable spot for ambulances, and I don't see any ambulances. So I thought maybe it was over here. Took a look down the alley, but that looks more like just the regular entryway for walkways. I don't see any ambulances. Probably not a place for ambulances. So I decided let's go take a look around the building. As soon as I got down to this end, automatically I saw ambulances. Okay. So we have a covered carport here, and it looks like a receiving area for ambulances, as far as I can tell. We zoom in, we got wall covers wall colors that seem to match the pictures here. This is just nighttime pictures with no light outside, so it's all lighting, artificial lighting. This is daytime lighting, so it's going to look dimmer because of the camera not taking in as much light. But already we see something here and here. That looks like gurneys. That looks like a shadowy figure of what could possibly be that. So... Just to be sure, this is not viable proof. So we have to go and take another angle. So we'll go to the corner here. And I know this because I've already done this. So I'm just showing you what I did. And I zoom back in. And it, things are starting to look, uh, I don't know, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Maybe is it? Maybe not. I don't know. So zoom back out. See if we can get a better view. Come over here. And we're blocked. So we had to go one more space over. And you can't go any further. You can look in here because you know, it just goes over to that wall. 
So, and I'll show you. See, you can't look very well. So we have to go back over here. And if we do, we can actually see inside of here. Now, what's being revealed? Remember, he said, please turn engines off. Okay, sign says, please turn engines off. Right there, we got a sign that says, please turn engines off. Please turn engines off. Both are signs. Restricted access signs. We have restricted access signs. Okay, I don't know where this is. This may be in a, somewhere in the view where we can't get to it because of the angle. These may be side walls that we can't see. But this is 217, or 2017. So this door could have been uh, re... Uh, whatever, what do you, whatever you call it. It could have been redone. They could have redone the, the uh, entryway. Um, this is from 2019. Okay. But here we see the gurneys. We see the, the compressed air hose. We see these signs. We see all of these signs that match. And in here, now look at this door. It's one, two, three panes. Okay. These inside doors open up that way and they op they make a doorway here. And if we look over here, one, two, to probably three panes there okay so as far as i can tell that story is bunk okay as far as the pictures being faked and that not being the hospital i'm not buying it this looks very much similar to those pictures there the question is whether or not this is epstein and if it is is he really dead or is he faking it or is it a body double who knows? It really looks like Epstein here. I don't know. That'd be a pretty darn good Photoshop, I would say, if someone was able to paste his head back there. So, I, you know, maybe it's possible. But I'm not buying the story. I'm not buying the story at all. And unfortunately, it seems like he may really be dead. I, I don't want to say dead because I really don't believe he is. I think that they did something to spirit him away. But anyway, I just wanted to show that to you so that you can rule this out of your arsenal. And when you see this, you'll know that this particular post is not true. It's, it's, they got it all wrong, whoever, whoever posted this. I don't know if Jim posted this on a whim or not, but heavy.com, I don't know. It just, I don't want to go into all that. That's not what I'm looking for here. That's not what I'm trying to deal with. I'm just trying to deal with the, the claim that these pictures are fake. And as far as I can tell, for all intents and purposes, these pictures are not fake. So somebody's maybe getting a little too zealous. Anyway, that's all I got. That's I just wanted to go over that with you and make an explanation so that you would be able to make your own decision and... Most likely, if you agree with me, it's probably not a fake. You'll know it's not a fake. So we can ignore at least this one article here. Just for the claim about the pictures. That other part of the article here, where they have the tweet, this I find extremely interesting, okay? Because it doesn't make any sense if there are people who are still, especially now, if Epstein is dead, people who are even more vulnerable to being uh, prosecuted, it wouldn't make sense for them to want him taken out. It would make more sense, I think, to have him go to trial and have it like declared a mistrial or something else. Go or maybe they just don't want the information to come out and just they're going to risk burning whatever people get burned that they can't cover up, you know, because they can still do other stuff to make this go away. So I don't know. But this, this I did find interesting. And I think if you're going to look into something, I'm sorry, I don't have it on the screen. If you're going to look into something, look into this tweet. Look up Neon Taster on Twitter. Look up Adam Classfield on Classfield on, on Twitter. And do some research around this. But as far as these pictures go, I'm pretty sure that those are authentic pictures. All right, that's all I've got for now. This is Red Pill signing off. And remember, the truth is out there waiting to be found. Yeah,